Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn and Libra love reading. And what I decided is that I'm not going to put specific sides on either way. I'm going to let you choose whatever size you side you feel relates best for you. I'm going to pull some romance angels to go down the middle. And then I will use a deck for this side, a deck for this side, a clarifying deck, and then a um, close up with an oracle, probably a romance card. All right. Okay. Let's see. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And then I'm feeling that when I turn this card over, release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. I feel like maybe one of you is still communicating with your ex and that's becoming a problem within your relationship. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. And we have this could be the one you've already met, the romantic par partner that, that, you, that you seek. Now, the children could have something to do with this person um, communicating with their ex and that's completely understandable and that totally needs to take place that there needs to be communication with your with an ex about children if there are children involved um, but there's also if like that has to be kept sort of like professional where it's not anything more than you know let's just talk about the kids let's work through these things you know but let's Let's, I feel like, you know, it's something that is affecting the other person. That there's one person that kind of is going through this and then the other person is like, well, this is, this is becoming a lot. You know, are you connecting with your ex more than, you know, just talking about the kids? You know, is there something more than that going on? All right. Um... So let's get some cards for this side. All right, so let's see what's going on here. So we have the star card, we have the hermit, we have the king of cups, we have the eight of cups, we have the page of pentacles, we have six of swords, we have five of pentacles, we have the strength card, we have the two of cups. And we have the Queen of Wands, and I feel like this one too, Ace of, Ace of Pentacles. All right. So, I'm feeling like this side wants to work on the relationship. Oh, for some reason I turned that over and we have the Eight of Cups here. We have the Eight of Cups here because I was going to pick for this side. I'm kind of feeling a couple things I'm kinda, now that I see this card. I'm feeling that this side may possibly want to walk away because I feel like maybe this side is... This side, I feel like is, this is not the side that has, that 
that has to release the ex. I feel like this is the other side and this side is like getting really frustrated and this side is trying to decide, do I hang in there or do I walk away? What do I do to fix this relationship? Do I stay strong and do I stay confident and do I stay, stay the course and this is just temporary and this side will figure this out and we'll figure this out together and we'll get past this or do I... Do I move away because I want calmer waters? I don't want to be in a relationship where I'm feeling like I'm the third wheel or I'm lower on the totem pole as importance in this relationship. Was this side really ready for the divorce? You know, was this side really ready to move away from the ex? The moon. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. The Hermit. You both have the Hermit. Two of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Love that. You both have Two of Cups. We have Seven of Cups. Five of Pentacles. You both have the Five of Pentacles. You both have the Two of Cups. Six of Wands. Look at that. And I looked at the bottom. And then we have the Lovers. I feel like the two of you want a relationship. I feel like the two of you are on the same page. I feel that there is definitely one side that is that needs to release the ex. Um, I'm feeling like it's this side. I'm feeling like it's this side. I could be wrong. It could be this side because maybe this side is, is thinking about moving away, but... What I'm feeling, and if you feel something different, that's okay. You know, everybody can has a different perspective on, on what's going on. And that's why I'm saying, I'm not trying to say what side is Capricorn and what side is Libra that I decided that I just want to leave those open for you to decide that. Um, but within this reading, what I'm feeling is, is, is this is the side that realizes that they have to change things up, that they have to handle this situation, the X and if there are children involved and how you communicate and that that has to be just about the kids and not anything else than that not about you know your relationship with your ex or you know past memories and you know doing those kind of things it's about the children and that's it and i feel like things need to change up here on this side and i feel like this this side needs to look within and find that balance between communicating with the ex about the children and then making sure that this side over here feels that they are important and giving you know the energy that this this side over here is very important also um, there's definitely some things that this side has to work through um, we have the five of pentacles for each side so this is just temporary I feel like you know having that talk to discuss and to say what your feelings are and say you know what I'm really feeling like I'm the third wheel or I'm lower on the totem pole because of this and that and this and that and to be able to communicate that and then for this side to realize and be like okay I need to adjust things because this person over here is important to me and I want to work these things through okay I do feel that the two of you because you, we have this could be the one right in between these two of cups okay this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek okay so this this energy here this could be the wrong one this side has to stay strong and stay confident and hang in there this side has some things that they have to think about and they have to work through all right so let's get some clarifying cards And sometimes it's just about opening your eyes, you know, to about how, you know, you're feeling and communicating with your partner and saying, you know, we need to work through this and this is how I'm feeling and how can we change this up? I, you know, I want to feel, 
I want to feel more important. You know, bal balancing different areas of your life. That's what the Two of Pentacles is, is finding that balance. And sometimes, you know, it can be hard when there's, you know, when there's a divorce and then there's there's exes that have to be, you know, that are, you know, that are that are have to be dealt with, you know, when you're when you're when you're younger or or if you don't have, you know, exes and you're starting new, then, you know, that then that's less to have to worry about, but sometimes like the older that you get and when you're in relationships, then there's other people involved. All right. The star card for this side, having hope, hanging in there, you know, hanging in there and trying to figure out what it is that they need to do, but also not adding more stress to the situation of this, you know, just staying calm, but, you know, trying to work, th work through things. Okay, we have the four of wands, and that's, I feel like that's a connection. I do feel that this side feels in a, co a connection. Um, maybe you were kind of disconnecting for a little bit but then I feel like this I realized okay I've got to do something about it I can't let this get way out of control I'm ready to put the work in okay this side's ready to put the work in okay how can we work through this how can we figure this out so it works for everyone there may be some you know maybe there's some jealousies or some some things that you know this person has to work on um, and you know, but also be able to ex express how they how they feel. We have three of cups, so that could represent that. You know, there are three people involved here. There's this side, this side, and an X that's sort of in this. Um, but it also can represent celebrating that they've this side has let go of some of those, you know, energies, or that the two of you have worked through this and you're feeling lighter and you're feeling happier. Page of Pentacles is about good changes coming in. There's some change coming in within this relationship, but I feel like it's very positive. Look at that. And then the Wheel of Fortune right on top of that. The Six of Swords is like moving away from this um, heavy energy, this frustration, um, moving to calmer waters, okay? Feeling that family connection, feeling more grounded. Five of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. This side has Eight of Cups again. There's definitely with this side, like I said in the beginning, I feel like part of me feels like this part, this side wants to walk away and leave the situation. But then with this two of cups, I feel like this side, part of me is feeling that this side wants to work things out. And there are maybe some things that this side has to let go of. Um, this side could be the side with the X and that the this side has to let go of that X. Um, so it could be this side also. We have the strength card and then we have five of swords. It doesn't matter. Staying strong in your beliefs on what it is that you want to do and not letting other people um, influence you about your decisions. Like people will always put their two cents in, but you know, to not let that influence you because this relationship is between this side and this side. You know, you guys have to work this out together. We have two of cups and we have seven of pentacles. So I feel like this relationship was budding, it was blooming, it was working, and then all of a sudden it's kind of on hold right now. And maybe that's what this eight of cups is, is that maybe the two of you need some time apart to sort things through, you know, to sort through your own feelings. But I feel like the two of you want to come back together though, because there is a connection. Um... Then we have this Ten of Swords, releasing that. This is some heavy energy that you're going through. This is some heavy stuff that you're going through, and this is very draining, you know. But I feel like there is definitely light at the end of the tunnel, and it's time to work on this situation. We have the Moon, and then we have the Death card. The Death card represents something that you're holding on to that's no longer useful to you, that is affecting you in another way, in a, in a negative way, and then it... It also can represent transition, transformation, bringing in change, okay? Like I said, I felt like this side is the side that has to release the X, and I definitely feel like with the death card coming out with that, that represents that. We have Ace of Cups. I love that. Starting that new relationship, starting a new beginning, 
okay? Reconnecting with this side. Ace of Wands, another ace. Aces are new beginnings, ready to make those changes, those starts. We've got Ten of Cups right on top of that. I love that. Love that. Ten of Cups on top of the Ace of Wands. We have Ten of Pentacles, which I love that card too. And then we have the Ten of Wands. You know, we, we, releasing those burdens, ready for change, ready for transformation. The Hermit, taking that time to figure out what in, in within, what do you really want? And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Ten of Pentacles again. Tens, tens, tens. Two of Pentacles, justice, things falling in your favor. Okay, things balancing out. Okay, Two of Pentacles, that's again about balancing. Balancing out the ex and the new relationship. Two of Cups, King of Pentacles. Now this could represent um, Libra and that Libra wants to have a relationship with King of Pentacles, which can represent Capricorn. Or this can represent Capricorn that wants to have a relationship with Libra. The King of Pentacles is somebody who is patient, somebody who is a hard worker, somebody who definitely reaches their goals. So, so this person wants to have a relationship. This it's it's kind of like I feel like the energy has just turned around when we get these when we've gotten these clarifying cards. It's really just turned around. Making those decisions, you know, on what it is that you need to do to work this all out. Five of Pentacles, again, Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. Lots to think about on this side. Lots to work through, but it's also about not becoming overwhelmed um, with... This is also the Libra card here. I was just looking at that. So Libra represented here finding that balance. So that could be Libra finding the balance, or this could be Capricorn, you know, saying finding that balance with Libra. So either way, um, this side definitely has a lot to think through. This side has a lot to sort out. And that could be why we have the Hermit here is because you need to take that time to kind of get your thoughts organized and in order first. We have King of Cups. Maybe just letting things go with the flow and just Maybe your this side is trying to control things too much, um, micromanage or something, and and maybe it's it's about loosening that up. And there's definitely some worry here about the relationship, you know, with this side over here. This side is definitely worried about it. I feel like this side kind of has that aha moment, and they're like, "Wow, I, I got to make sure that." You know, I, I'm being more aware of this because I may lose this side. And like I said, I feel like this side may. I did have the feeling that this side may want to walk away and maybe this side realizes it and they're like, whoa, wait a minute, I, I gotta adjust stuff here because this side's ready to walk away. And I'm not ready to lose this side because of an X. All right, so let's close out with a romance card. And see what we have going on here. Okay. These cards are a little hard to shuffle because it's Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Okay. Right there. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old. Okay. In this relationship. So I feel that that really represents that. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.